Well, this event is all about enjoying dance and working towards funding the research for dance for cognitive enhancement. It was a 21-year study, and it studied activities like dancing and swimming and golf and tennis. And one of the big surprises of the study is that the only physical activity out of the 11 that were evaluated that protected against the risk of cognitive decline was dancing. What we want to determine with this study is find out if social ballroom dancing does protect against the risk of cognitive decline and do it without using medication. We would like to change national public health policy and exercise recommendations to include social dancing for health. You can come to this event as a novice and enjoy other people and watch them dance and vicariously live through them. You could also enjoy the wonderful food and the atmosphere. What I want dancers to realize and people that are now in their 40s and 50s Dance is a great way to help Alzheimer's and dementia. Why? We do all these directions. We go forward, we go back, left, right, up, down, we turn, we twist, we do it all. In life, we really only go forward. Never thought about it too much. Dance, we go all the direction and it really triggers something in the brain. What my goal is, is to have doctors sit down in their offices when they see people that are troubled with Alzheimer's and write them a prescription to go and have ballroom dance lessons. So we do have silent auctions, and we have an opportunity drawing, and all the proceeds from those different auctions will go directly to the Dance for Cognitive Enhancement study. I'm not a dancer. Uh, my expectations tonight are to see how uh, I can help in promoting dance among other people uh, to help you know, possibly come up with a cure for Alzheimer's. Think about how you can donate and contribute to this research, and that's the key. So, get dancing. <laughs>